Welcome to Around Town featuring what's happening here in the Greater Concord area. I'm your host, Dick Patton, and it's a pleasure to welcome you back as we're now in the middle of May. And boy, I'll tell you, we're looking at, we're actually into now the patriotic season because Armed Forces Day is coming right up, then Memorial Day, Flag Day, then up with the Independence Day. But, uh, Actually, we've also gone into summer as of the weather today. <laughs> and um, before I forget it, forget it, before I forget, you can like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Concord Speaks. So please look at us on Facebook and tell us how much you love us. Don't say you hate us, you love us. <laughs> With me is my cohort here, Paul Brogan, and uh, he's playing a different role today again. Last time you were on Faith Speaks, now yes. you're back with uh, Around Town. Around Town, yes. <laughs> yes. And if you've noticed, of course, the, of course this, by the time, well, this will be on shortly, but the yes. uh, Kiwanis Fair is all getting set up. The rides are down there. And, as I drove by it, yeah, I noticed that, yes. They're all getting ready. and Lots of activity. Sounds like the weather is going to be decent this weekend. It does, um, it does. Yes. And, of course, if you read the paper the other day, they're all in a quandary about Memorial Day, mm -hmm. what the veterans are going to do. But, like I told the reporter today, and I left a message yesterday, mm -hmm. I, told, mm -hmm. I told Paul Lloyd <coughs> that I would be more than, I would be very honored mm -hmm. to organize that parade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course, he stated that he is going to have me come to a meeting after Memorial Day mm -hmm. to see what they're going to do on different things and uh, he said his only thing was he wants to make sure that it's not like a the holiday parade right he said this yeah. obviously is a tribute to the veterans yes. and I understand yes. that of course of course because he did have one entry this year that wanted to put the Mr. Crockett in and they said no he said no well, that was a relief. Well, was, uh, well, no, I mean even political stuff. That's not no. For it's that not parade. appropriate for that parade. No, not at all. That's, I can remember years ago when when someone was running for sheriff, and he was the uh, challenger, and people just looked at him like, "What are mm -hmm. you doing here?" Mm -hmm. You know, and he didn't get very good marks for that. Well, that does a disservice not only to the veterans or the people we're honoring who are no longer with us, but to their family members that are still alive. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's like commercializing something. It and, is. And, and that's something that doesn't belong in a Memorial Day parade. But no, I don't. I would love the notion of you becoming involved in that because, I would like you to know, do it. You, I, have, I, have said, I have, used to help fo form it years ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when Ken Barrett and Mike Gary were in charge. I went down and formed it myself, the, the civilian side. Mm -hmm. They had somebody from the veterans do the military side, but I did the civilian side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mo and I didn't care. That was like usually I had Rumlet in the, the band and also scouts. Yes, yes. And back those days, we had a lot of scouts. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know anybody. No, no. But I didn't. I haven't helped in quite a while. And but I told him that I would be very honored to do that. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh. But you know, I'm not a veteran. I am a member of the auxiliary for the Sons of the American Legion. Mm -hmm. And sons, excuse me, Paul. Sons Certainly. of the Bf, Sons of the BFW uh -huh. and the Marine Corps League. But. You know, I mean, my uncle, my step grandfather, all were in World War Two. Yes, yes. I had a cousin who got killed in World War Two, and so I mean, I know the military very well. Mm -hmm. um, but anyhow, so we'll see what happens. Great. But you know, I mean, let's face it: through the days of that parade from years ago, when it was the parade. Oh, it was enormous downtown. It went on oh. for a good hour. Yeah, and sometimes longer. And you had the troops marching. Yes. And, uh, and of course, granted, we had more bands. St. John's High School marched mm -hmm. along the Concord mm -hmm. High, mm -hmm. and the VFW had their drum and bugle mm -hmm. corps marching, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, it was... It was quite like, the... Then you, they had the... Uh, oh, brother. Uh, the the ba army, army band there. Oh, yes. Um, then they stopped marching. Mm -hmm. Now they're back again. 
I don't know if they're marching, but mm -hmm. they are back mm -hmm. doing concert type things. But you know, I mean, it was always beautiful downtown oh. because you had all the flags up, yeah, and 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 some people unroll bunting from upstairs windows, and mm. it just really was a day in which everybody paused and remembered That's and right. came together, and there'd be ten or fifteen thousand people lying. Oh, the streets easily, to, yeah, easily, easily. Yeah. yes. And then, of course, you had the. Uh, all the veteran organizations marching. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. they don't want to march. No. Because, no. because now the World War I guys have all died. Yes. Spanish American War vets are gone. They're gone. World War II is just about gone. Not many left. No. And you have just Korea. And then now and it's Korean and, and Vietnam, Vietnam mm -hmm. and Gulf War. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. Mid East or whatever for mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know that's what you're going. And they they don't really want to match. No, it's not that same. Korea has always I've heard many people say they are like the forgotten ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, so who knows? And the scouts, you can't seem to get them matching no. anymore. Of course, the thing the the bad thing is, and I think you know, I've mentioned this before is that when they made that a three-day holiday weekend, yes, yes. that's when people took off to the beaches exactly. and the mountains. So everyone's and, away or doing something else. And, and when it was on the actual day, whatever day of the week that yes, fell on, that's then right. people were here yes. and they all came together to yeah, honor. That's right. And, um, yeah, it, it's. I have, you know, a lot of mixed feelings about turning everything into a three-day holiday oh. and um well yeah remember it's, when they tried to do it with veterans day mm -hmm. luckily they put it back to where it belonged but mm -hmm. that, they made that one an old mm -hmm. holiday weekend mm -hmm. but you know it, it is it's too bad they did that to memorial day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but money 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 mm -hmm. and i see the legislature we're not going to be changing our time zone Oh, really? I saw that in the uh, monitor the other day. We haven't voted on it yet. Oh, it didn't vote yet? Oh. No, that must have been a committee thing. Oh, okay, probably a or committee recommended. Or the Senate had it, one yes. or the other, but okay. I know that came up for us. Yes, yes, if Massachusetts were to do it, New Hampshire yeah. was going to consider doing it also. Yeah, it goes to, uh, to the Atlantic yes. time zone. I, and that's kind of, you know, I don't understand why they would do that, unless Maine did it and Ryland. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind mm -hmm. of a... And even Vermont, because a lot of people commute across the border, yep. you know, into Vermont that are in the western part of the state. So it would be confusing. Mm. And, uh, yep. But there are more important issues probably that <laughs> deserve attention. Oh, I know. I know it. And of course, I see the monitors going at it again about the state ho state house all men mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And it's an election year again, isn't it? Right. No, not this year. Oh, this, this isn't? This is just city elections this year. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, this in November we'll vote for mayor and city council and school board. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, I guess uh, we don't need to go down that road. Not yet. <laughs> That's another, that'll be for another few months. Yes. But... Um, yeah, I just I can't believe. And of course, um, yesterday I got a call from David Murray that Helen Murray, who co-owned Murray Farms in yes. Connecticut, she died oh. in Florida a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. And so he was asking me for information, Grange-wise, about mm -hmm. her because she was a oh, she was a, a at least a seventy-year, maybe a seventy-five-year Grange member. Wow. She was 96 years old, mm -hmm. and uh, she used to go down to Florida in the winter, but she hadn't come back yet. Mm -hmm. She was due to come back very soon. So they're having a memorial service Saturday night mm -hmm. up at the uh, farm up there. I can remember going there as a kid. My father used to buy his baby chicks oh. from there. When they, and they used Where to, is it located? On River Road. Okay. If you as you yeah. But that but see that section of River Road, all the kids go to Concord High School, 
Oh. None of them go to the Merrimack Valley, which uh -huh. is kind of odd. It's right on the Kentucky mm -hmm. River. Mm -hmm. And they, Murray Farms <clears throat> borders the old entrance to Camp Spaulding. Oh. The entrance is right there. Okay. And now they got a newer entrance on Bog Road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to go there. But they have, but they did, they have, they had the entrance to Camp Spaulding up there. Oh. And, uh, yeah, they, we used to, we go up there quite often, but. It's, you'd see Helen out there, especially mm -hmm. in the nighttime evening out there, mm -hmm. you know, pondering around. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she was another yeah. another old time I've gone. Lived a long life. I know it, 96 years old. Yes, old, boy. yes. That's you know, don't seem possible. No, no. Wow, well, time has a way of just racing by. I mean, it's it's really frightening how, how quickly it's... So your mother enjoyed Mother's Day, Yes, you said. yes, so we went to nice. Bruce, it was very nice. The yeah. art from the Corner View was there, um, who owned the Corner oh, View. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's picked up a lot of the same crowd that used to go there, and, and, and but they still have some of the things from the Corner, uh, from Cat and the Fiddle on the yeah. menu, yeah. a whole page of those, and so it, it's... It, Hmm. Now, there's never a problem getting parking because you've no. got that huge parking lot, which is nice. Yeah. And, and, all. and it's just sort of tucked away, so it, never a long wait. But uh, I mean, we've run, and there's been no wait at all. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They didn't still have him put the salad bar back in. No, I wish they would. That's I the know, thing I that would that really. Him. They could take out the regular bar, as far as I'm yeah, concerned, yeah. and put that amazing salad bar. Yeah. That was at the Cat and the Fiddle. Yeah. To me, that was the best salad bar around. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, because they kept it so fresh and yes. a really nice variety of things. Mm. And uh, yeah, that would be what I would do. But yeah. but. Well, I remember talking to him once about that, and he mm -hmm. said that he really didn't want to get into, like, the cat and the fiddle. He wanted to kind of make it his own. Mm -hmm. He would have a few things that were mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. famous with mm -hmm. that or mm -hmm. known for that, but he wanted to kind of keep it his own style mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. The son was so... Um, but anyway, it's... Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, the food's been good when we've gone there, but yes. it's just yes. it's different. Yes, yes, you yeah. Know. And I see that the um, Red Arrow is still yes. coming on. They've now Boy. closed the mobile station. Yes, that's now closed. Now, is that gone for good? I heard, I was understood they were moving up to where by, Dairy Queen. Da by Dairy Queen on that street. But now someone says that Red Arrow is going to have gas there committing oh. might on that side oh oh i don't know it, the, the place is big there's not much parking there's there. very little parking that's the thing i so i don't know how they're going to do that no i don't either no i mean they would be smarter making where mobile is total parking there mm. because the size of the place you're going to have 40, 50, 60 cars at some times. Yeah. And I don't know where they're going to manage because behind it there isn't a great deal of room either. So. No, there isn't. So. And I don't know what's going up next to Dairy Queen. I mean, that, that uh, at one point there was talk about a restaurant going in there, a chain restaurant. Supposed to but, be, there was. But I haven't heard another I haven't thing heard, haven't about heard that. I haven't heard a thing. No. No. So, but that seems to be, I would assume by Memorial Day they'll open there they are advertising up oh, there yeah, for for help too so it'll be interesting to see how well they do yes yes uh, i i don't know it's like, i just can't believe we're you know we're coming up to, to memorial day and in two weeks first, you know it's yes. like boy happy year finally is going it is going, it is know? well six months from next week is the <clears throat> holiday parade i know it I mean, that's, we're halfway there almost, and yeah. that's how, how quickly, I mean, and we barely bounced out of winter. I mean, the other day it felt like winter. We were in the 40s and the upper 30s, and now know? we're going to hit 96 on Thursday. And look what happened up to Mount Washington, yeah. up north. 33 here. inches of snow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's just you know it's been so erratic the weather has not been a consistency no I know it. Um, so who knows what the summer is going to bring with it um, I know it. but 
Uh, I forgot, you know, too, when you were here last time, I mentioned, forgot it too, that we had somebody had a birthday. Oh. And we forgot, forgot to wish him a happy birthday. And do you and mean he's shaking his head Mr. now. Mr. Superman over there. Yes. Mr. Super Ian there, my director. Uh -huh. Yep, he turned, uh, he's now Jack Benny's age. Ah, well that's a good age to be. Jack Benny did quite well at 39. And he stayed that way for about 40 something years. I don't, Correct. I don't think he's 39 <laughs> yet. You're not 39 yet, I know that. You are? I was kidding, you really are 39. My he's God. a young pup. I'm 39. God, Jack Benny, huh? my goodness. And now if you said that to somebody, they'd say, who's that? Exactly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Wow. And, I mean, when we grew up, I guess his show was in reruns by the time we were around. Uh, but he was still a guest on Oh, yeah, he was a guest. He yeah. was on everybody's show. Yeah. You know, and, and I, mean, I knew even as a kid, oh, that's the tightwad, because yeah. he was his... His image was playing a tight wad. And, Him and Jimmy Durante. Mm -hmm. and, and Burns and I. You know, you had all of these people that had been around long before we were born. I mean, yeah, they yeah. all started out in the 20s. Ethel but, Merman. Ethel Merman yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but they were still there, and Louis Armstrong, and all of these uh, names, and people wouldn't know now. And, <laughs> and um, they wouldn't know who we're talking about. No. They, ah! No. <laughs> Go Google it is what I usually say to people, you know, because they can go look it up and figure out who it is. But, yeah, I forget um, that. I mean, you talk about, because that's what some get tired with me because I talk about the old days. But, you know, the old days were good days and some were guides. Oh, the yes. Programming <clears throat> was, was good. It was more family oriented <clears throat> yes. now. You know, and. Um, and you only had uh, ABC, NBC, CBS, yep. and uh, and New Hampshire Public Television. Wasn't there the du was it the Dumont Network or something? That yes, I don't I remember. remember. Yeah, I remember reading something about that. Uh -huh. Dumont was it Dumont or Dupont? No, I think no. it was Dumont. I Dumont? think yes. network. It didn't. We I don't remember it, but I remember reading <clears throat> something in the history of that. But uh, we yeah. had rabbit ears, so you know, oh, you, I know. you yeah. had to move in a certain way, and then you could get, you know, the Boston channels. But there was always a lot of snow, and uh, Channel Nine was the only one that was crystal clear. Just as you well, know. Channel Eleven <clears throat> wasn't too bad either. No, no, Durham, like, Durham. was pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, yeah. The only the only show on there was the one when in school we had to go. Mm -hmm. We had to see in school. As uh, it was called Poly Polyvou Francais, uh -huh. it was a French class. Mm -hmm. And during the elementary school, I think it was fourth grade, we had to sit and listen to it. It was like a 15 minute show, or, and she would, we would teach us French. Because uh -huh. huh. back those days, French was a big thing. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now it's like it's not. Spanish is the big. Is the big one. Big yeah. one. That mm -hmm. and. Um, Japanese or uh, mm -hmm. Chinese mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Asian or, yeah, yeah one man, of them. Yeah, because now I, mean, it is. I know during the Olympics they do French as a, as a language, but mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. I don't, and of course in school they tried teaching German, but I don't know if that made too much of a difference or not. But. At Brady we had two years of French and two years of Spanish. Yeah. Um, and of course, you we knew Latin because yeah. the mass was still in Latin. Mm. But uh, it was, um, you know, I, it, at the time it just seemed. Like, why do I need to learn these? Because I'm never going to go to Spain or to. Yeah. But uh, it was amazing when we went as as children to Expo '67 in Montreal. Mm. How much I'd already started, you know, the French and how much I was able to understand uh, at the hotel we all stayed at uh, yeah. just from that mm. first year of, of French. And of course, too, now, did you see in the paper yesterday, I read that, because yeah. um, this is a very, because you were on uh, Faith Speaks here last week, yes. a very holy month for uh, mm -hmm. the Ascensions coming right up, I think, this week. Mm -hmm. And they said that there's been some sightings of of the Holy Mother in Matagori. Oh, really? Well, uh -huh. 
there's been say claim has been has been sightings of, of Mary in Matagori, wherever that I can't remember. They said mm -hmm. it's in uh, Bosnia or something. Mm -hmm. Well, the Pope has come out stating that they are investigating it, but mm -hmm. he feels that it's just a bunch of bunk. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe it. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was during uh, Pope Benedict's time yes. that this came out. And Benedict had people investigating it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but Pope Francis just isn't, he doesn't believe it's possible. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what the difference is because mm -hmm. if, I don't know, it's like the kids, they, they all talk about, um, what's the one the other day? The door, no, the door, what is that one about the, uh, uh, the, 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 the Christians uh, take very seriously about Mary was seen at. Um, well, there's uh, Fatima and Lourdes. That's, yeah, that's the one. Lourdes. The three children at Fatima yeah. and Bernadette at Lourdes. Yeah, yes. that's the one. And so they really came <clears throat> mm -hmm. close to that. Mm -hmm. so. And both of those were proven, and there are, you know, shrines honoring, and there is apparently s continued miracles with people's health. They bathe really? in the waters at Fatima or in Lourdes. Really? And a number of people have been cured of polio and all kinds of other things. So uh, I guess you know that has is is they they waited years and years before they actually affirmed that it was a miracle because they need proof and they need uh, medical documentation. For instance, that somebody has been cured by a miracle who medical science said had no absolute chance of ever being hmm. healed or cured. Someone who was blind from birth and would be blind for all their life yes. and they were able to then see. Yeah. <clears throat> so they, I guess the church just doesn't want to rush in, particularly in a world where the Kardashians are stars. But I mean, it, you know, the kind of world we have today where everything gets blown out of proportion. Oh, yeah, so, so I think they want to keep a very tight rein on it to make yep. sure that it's, that if it is true, yep. you know, um, but it could be years before they oh, actually determine that. Oh, yeah, so. sure. Mm. I think, isn't, isn't it this week is Ascension Thursday? Or yes, next? it yes. is. I think it is, okay. I think it is yes. Thursday. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, racing right along. And, oh. I know May. Like I said, May, and then June comes along, and graduations at Concord High, and, and yes, all schools, and all of that. So, I mean, everything, all the activities, yeah. and then suddenly you're at the Fourth of July, yeah. and you know, after the Fourth of July, summer's over. That's right. I mean, it is. I mean, well, that's right. when everything is marked down. All the fall clothes are yeah, suddenly out, all back to school, and. Yeah. and yeah, well, my and grandfather always said when the 4th of July comes, summer's yeah. half over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's turning the other way. Well, I mm -hmm. haven't seen that, but I guess there is a time period in, there in yes. July that you start to lose the sun or something. Oh, you do. After June 21st. June is 21st it? is the longest day of the year. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, just like December 21st is the shortest. Mm. And then after that, it starts going in the other direction. But you don't really notice it until about the end of July, suddenly, mm. instead of 8.30, the sun going down, it's going down at 8 o'clock. Yeah. And then by Labor Day, it's going down before 7.30, and that was, you know. Uh, yes. And that's when you really start. Oh, you can really start to yes. see boy in September. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> but, but we've raced through the summer pretty quickly know, on this yeah, show. So. I know we always do, but uh, <laughs> you know, but it just you know, like I said, seeing the, the trade fair down there, the yes. fair brings mm -hmm. back memories. Yes. And yeah, it, to me, it's still the trade fair. It is. That's it what is. I say to people, and they look at me, what? What do yeah, you mean? And fair. I explain to them when it was, for instance, at the Highway Hotel, and yeah. Um, I think I only went to it once when it was up here, and I. Th at I were talking airport. Yes, I did do just once. Mm -hmm. I remember more vividly when it was at, at the, the Highway Hotel, highway hotel oh, yes. in the new convention building they yeah. built, yeah. and. But it was fun, even for little kids. I never found it boring. No. Because all the people you knew locally 
their businesses were represented That's there. That's right. Yep. And and there was always the chance to win a car from Grapponi or mm. you know something else. And everybody was giving out free things. And even if I was never going to use them. I like to just you know all this free stuff. Oh, I know. Fun. Oh my goodness! It was like you got almost like Halloween. Stick. Yes, yacht sticks, yep. pencils. Yes. I mean, going. I mean, my father. I can remember. I would have, I'd have a bag, and he'd yes. come around, and, and mm-hmm. he always would put stuff mm-hmm. in, you know, get stuff in there. Yeah, it was it was a real again. It was a community builder, and people looked forward to it. And yeah, um, Miss Kiwanis Fair, right? And, yes, you know, but. and we'd go on the midway, and the parents would stand around and talk, mm. or you know, have something to drink, or you know, it was, um, we uh, the Grange just thinking about that. The Grange just finished the dictionary projects we on uh, program the other day. Uh-huh. Went over to. <clears throat> Broken Ground and um, McAuliffe. Mm-hmm. It was so funny because even over to Broken Ground, I, we, asked, we, we asked a question. I asked a question because I, in, the, in the dictionary they have all the things like mm-hmm. each state. So I said, what, what is the Hampshire's official song? Mm-hmm. And I, you, oh my goodness, the, the answers I got. It was funny because, mm-hmm. no, I don't think so. No, not that one. That's mm-hmm. why they had never heard, and even the teachers mm-hmm. were just as ma- almost as guilty. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I said no, the official state song is "Old New Hampshire." Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. They'd never heard of it. No, and neither had the kids. And I said, "Gee, maybe the, maybe your teachers will sh- uh, play it sometime for you." Yeah. Or you know whatever, but none of them had ever heard. I mean, there are like one or two other ones. Hmm. I think New Hampshire naturally, by the um, yeah, yeah. I can't think of their name. The brothers there from um, hmm. oh up there in Andover or well, somewhere up in New Hampshire. The, the brothers there. I can't think of their name. Yeah, me either. Yeah, and then there was another one that somebody else wrote, but Old New Hampshire had stuck by with the official name. Why don't they change it to When the Moon Comes Over the Mountain? There you go, Kate Smith. Because that was written on Newfound Lake. Oh, really? Yes, the composer of that uh, was staying at the Newfound Inn in 1929, and he watched the moon come up over Kearsage. And he wrote the song, and then he took it to Kate Smith, who made it into a hit. Oh, I know. But if you read about it, uh, um, or the history of Newfound Lake, it talks about that he was sitting there on the front porch. It's still the, the inn is still there, and inside the inn they have a plaque celebrating that that the man was sitting out there, walk, looking out at the lake, and the moon rose over Kearsage, and he was inspired to write that song. Interesting. Yes. There we go. You learn something new. I know, yes. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. See, anyone who tunes in to Around Town will come away smarter than when so, they started. I thought I was smart about knowing that the old New Hampshire, but they yes. didn't they didn't even know it. Oh. oh. Well, we've come to another close of another great show with Paul <laughs> and reminiscing and I hope you enjoy our our old men talks, I guess you might say, but you know, it's fun to think about the history and the old days yes. of Concord, you know, yes. and what went on that would nice we come back mm-hmm. again. But anyhow, so with that in mind, thank you to our, produ- our director there, Ian Marks, and is celebrating his 39th birthday. Mm-hmm. And we'll look forward to seeing you soon on Around Town. I'm your host, Dick Patton.